St. Luke in the Gospel and in the Acts of the Apostles gives us the largest body of Christian work that we have available to us. Particularly in Acts chapter 4 verses 32 to 33, he gives us a glimpse, a window into that first Christian community and his very idealized vision for what it should look like, being of sound of, of mind and body, but also united in service to each other and generous in hospitality to others. When we first hear that, we may think to ourselves, oh my goodness, he's out of touch with reality. But in fact, Luke knows exactly what's going on in those Christian communities, that they're struggling with the question of who should be in the community and how should the gospel be uh, taken outside of the Jewish community, as well as what to do with meat that's been sacrificed to idols and sexual and other kinds of ethical situations. What Luke is really doing is, is holding a vision out before the community that's trying to lift it up and to give it a vision for what it needs to be in the future. So I wish to speak to you about a classic illumination done by Aidan Hart and also with the help of Donald Jackson on Acts chapter 4 verses 32 to 33. You can see that it is three concentric circles and those circles, if you will, connect heaven and earth. Taking the middle one first, none other than Mary, the mother of God, is seated right at the center of all of these saint-like persons. That is, the first six on this side and on this side are the apostles, followed by other saints in the community. Even Saint Benedict and Saint Scholastica make their way into this circle. In this lower concentric circle is the Eucharistic table, wine and bread. At the very top is the Christ of glory, the Pantocrator, with two angels holding in his hand a gospel book simply with the words, I am, taking us back into John's gospel where there are six I am sayings that point directly to the divinity of Christ. To give you the sense that community is always located, Aiden Hart has included symbols or signs that we will know well Stella Maris Chapel on this side and the bell banner from the Breuer Church on the other side. And in addition, um, we see the text from verses 32 and 33 wrapping this beautiful classic illumination. The question that this illumination poses to us is, how are we going to make decisions and choices that keep our families and communities healthy? That is, places of healing, places of love, places of generous service. 